he successfully redefined the world of travel, leads several branches around the world, providing convenient and easy travel arrangements. Mr. Jamal Abdul Nasser, the CEO of Cosmo Travel. Stay tuned. <laughs> Thank you very much for having us here. You are so tolerant and you are a model to the world actually. This country and the system, it gives a lot of opportunity and I am very lucky to be here. I thank to the father of the nation. People definitely and people must have dreams because if you don't have dreams if you don't want to be somebody out there you look at him you learn from him I want to be out there I wanted to flourish I wanted to grow there you need to have a dream so continue dreaming and move towards your dream the world is plenty of opportunity if you want to be in tourism industry that's an excellent opportunity We wanted to continue our expansion in terms of our presence in outside this business area what we are doing currently we are in India we are in uh, Africa probably full GCC we are we are in Egypt but I Africa is the coming up uh, continent with a mm. lot of opportunity there we wanted to be there you will see us expanding there we will also be looking at expansion into Europe coming in soon and what I want to be, I want to be the number one agency in travel. So when anybody think about travel, I want them to think about course. السلام عليكم انا بشوي حبيب مدير قسم الحجوزات في شركة كوزمو للسياحة انا متخصص في الرحلات الداخلية والخارجية 
كمان بنشتغل في فعاليات في حاجه اسمها مايس انا بقالي تقريبا سنه ونص شغال في كوزمو مبسوط كوني بارت اوف الشركه شكرا سلام عليكم Hello everyone and welcome to our show Pearls of Union where we bring you the best of the entrepreneurship world and meet incredible pioneers from different sectors in the UAE. Today we are going to talk about a travel agency that known of quality services and customer care. I'm thrilled to have today with me Mr. Jamal Abdul Nasser, the CEO of Cosmo Travel Agency. How thank are you, you Mr. Much. Jamal? Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity and thank you very much. Thank you so much. We are so excited to have you here today in our episode. My it's pleasure. our pleasure. My pleasure. My Thank pleasure. you so much. Uh, Mr. Jamal, let's talk first uh, and inform the audience about you more. And let's talk about your educational background and professional experiences. Right. So I started my career way back in 1981. Mm -hmm. So I'm born in India, in the southern part of Ke India, which is called Kerala. So way back when I was a student in the college, I have done my graduation exam, but I have not completed it. Mm -hmm. At that time, I wanted a job. It was tough time those days. Mm -hmm. So I went to Saudi Arabia. And 81, December 6, I landed in Saudi Arabia. On December 7, 81, I walked into an office. I wanted a job. Mm -hmm. So apparently, that was Air France office those days. I got a job. They asked me to start as a trainee in Dahran Airport. At that time, it was called Dahran where Aramco was headquartered mm -hmm. and that was my beginning of the career okay way back 1981 mm -hmm. and how uh, what when's the first time you are here in the UAE good question mm -hmm. so I continued in Saudi 25 years all I know was travel mm -hmm. I haven't worked in any other industry I worked all over 25 years in Saudi then I decided to move back to India but then apparently I had an opportunity to join Arabia Group, which is very hard to reject because that was a dream company mm -hmm. coming up. So 2007, October 7th, I landed in UAE. Yes. So you, you, you just mentioned that you are trying to apply to Air Arabia and you have got a rejection at first. No, that's not what I said. Mm -hmm. What I said was, you know, Air Arabia, if you know, that is the yes. first region's low cost airline airline mm -hmm. so when I used to manage a travel agency in Saudi Arabia mm -hmm. 2003 I know Air Arabia started here yes but including me I didn't believe these kind of a travel will work because mm -hmm. we were used to the legacy travels mm -hmm. and Air Arabia was the first one in that time came to me and said we are going to enable you ticketless travel so you don't need to have a ticket you just have a copy of a ticket you don't need a physical ticket in the oh, past okay. you know we need to have a coupon on the tickets mm -hmm. but Arabia said no it's a single photocopy of a ticket that's enough for you to travel so for us it was anyone for that matter it was hard to believe mm -hmm. but eventually on 2004 they made a break even 2006 it was in the IPO so it is a company that was growing so you know then Arabia was asked me to join them Mm -hmm. to run other project so I came in 2007 I was luckily selected so I started with them 2007 in October 7th what's a faithful uh, faithful uh, journey you have experienced Mr. Jamal and I know that uh, during this uh, journey of course you have faced some challenges uh, if you would like to mention uh, to us some challenges and what strategies have you followed in order to overcome such a challenges excellent so you know we challenges was plenty in the life mm -hmm. and everybody has challenges but it all depends on how do you make challenges to an opportunity okay mm -hmm. so back in uh, so when I was in Saudi 1992 the Gulf War started all of overnight I have to send the family and everybody the staff along with me to back to a safer place and we need to be on the forefront to assist our customers who wanted to travel so that was the challenge but Having said that, we were very successful and we got the confidence from the, our customers who depend on us on a difficult time when every other agency is run away, mm -hmm. you know, they were not available. So that was an experience actually and uh, plenty of challenges I can. We started Cosmo on 2010. When we started, it was a decision made 
by the board of air arabia and my chairman mr adrali mm -hmm. to start a new travel agency and the decision was sometime in october and we were up and running in 2010 january 1 so 2009 we decided 2010 january 1 we started cosmo so, so we didn't had a physical offices we started uh -huh. in this building it was under constructions we waited about four or five months to have a physical office but we worked from virtually you know yes. from some other offices from our homes we're so going to talk of course about the start of cosmo travel because it's something exciting to know and for the audience also to understand how this uh, unique travel agency massive travel agency and successful uh, travel uh, agency as well is Uh, has made or established at the first but let's talk more uh, mr jamal about your supporters of course you have someone who encouraged and someone who motivated you along the journey i know that determination and patience is very important in order, in order to overcome challenges but of course at the same time you should have some um, positive people yes, that's around you who, who are your supporters my mentors if you ask me mm -hmm, mentors I, yes when i was studying my brother in law used to work in a travel agency in saudi he used to inspire me to come and join travel industry mm -hmm. so he is my original mentor but eventually wherever whenever i grow in my career i have met with people my current boss adil ali i met him in british airways time and there were my friends working with at that time in the british airways and always i look up to them mm -hmm. because they used to travel to anywhere in the world and they used to get lot of training so also their approach to business was very open there was no hierarchy so i need to get anything from my friends who works with mm -hmm. british airways or from other i can pick up the phone and call there was no hierarchy in there i was at the junior level at that time i think the same culture the same inspiration same motivation what i picked up from them and i try to implement in this life so That's when right. this task of setting up a travel agency we had a clear plan in 2010 when we started we wanted to have a name mm -hmm. that is appealing to everyone in the region because we don't want to be only in where we started in yes. this country we wanted to be a regional company in four years time a non regional company so we had a clear plan and a vision to achieve that we said okay we need to have a name that is easily understandable that has a universal name mm -hmm. so that's why cosmo name it comes from universe you know it's a greek okay. name actually yes. so we started then we look around what can we do differently mm -hmm. so the first thing we said okay let's expand because sharjah itself as an emirates has lot of places where mm -hmm. people are not served heavily underserved places mm -hmm. whether it is industrial area whether it is you know uh, the 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 free zones so we said we will open up expansion and eventually to other emirates and then our plan was to go beyond uae and then we started 2011 in qatar 2012 we started saudi arabia 2013 we started uh, kuwait 14 was bahrain mm -hmm. 15 and 16 was india today we are open up to 18 states in india we have offices in india so you are expanding yeah, all over the expanded. world yes and then we had egypt came in jordan came in armenia so mm -hmm. the, we had that vision we we uh, drove along with the vision and with yes. a clear plan and all this thing we did we were successful we were profitable we have grown people along with them we have multicultural environment Sure. over 1000 people working today sure obviously covid was a set of time mm -hmm. okay so we had to reduce but we were available we were every single day this office was available for our customers be it we working from home be it you know whenever the government allows us mm -hmm. we came to the office we worked we operated charter flights for repatriations mm -hmm. we helped people to come in so you know even our offices in kuwait or saudi arabia all of them worked because they we used to work with a lot of oil companies so yes. oil industry has to have engineers mm -hmm. coming in so covid time if somebody wants to come to kuwait we take them from india or philippine to belgrade or mm -hmm. somewhere in in a country where they can travel and then brought yes. them here so it was 
smooth thinking out work. of the box mm -hmm. actually yes. that made it successful one one of the major challenges that the world faced is corona for sure and the, you have you know with your uh, successful strategies you have overcome this um let's you have mentioned the branches already let's talk about uh, cosmo travel as a group i know it's not a company it's okay. a group yeah. that includes uh, other uh, group uh, other companies inside so that cosmo group so travel is 100% owned by Air Arabia, which yes. is a larger group. Mm -hmm. So uh, I am the daughter of Air Arabia, mm -hmm. you can say, Cosmo. And within Cosmo, we have also expanded. Like you said, we are a small group by ourselves. So we have a division called Sayara. It is another entity, Sayara Car Rental and Limousines, which mm -hmm. is over 2,000 vehicles. What we do is we do retail rental, short-term rental, long-term leasing, we do tracking, we do every businesses that comes on way. Mm -hmm. So today a customer coming into me, he doesn't need to go for his rent a car somewhere. We can give them along with his air tickets, we can do pick up, we can do drop off. If somebody needs tracks, we, if somebody need a luxury car, mm -hmm. we are there for him with our own fleet. So Al Sayara has expanded. Another division is called Ibeta. Mm -hmm. Ibeta is a bed bank. So what we do is globally, the hotel industry is very fragmented, you know, it is not coming through different channels. So we have developed a technology and we have connected hotel, larger chain of hotels to smaller hotels to bed accommodations, hostels and everything and we come through a portal. And that portal distribute rooms to the industry people, to mm -hmm. the B2B side. We mm -hmm. also have something called Traff Trolley which is another division. Travel Trolley is a super travel portal. So if you want to be a travel agent today, we can give you our portal. We will give you all the inventory in one, one screen. So you can become a sub agent today and start trading instead of going for your IATA approvals and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Wherever the regulation permits, you have the necessary approvals from the regulatory. We give you the inventory out, which will make you productive from day one. So, Mr. Jamal, we have mentioned about the divisions. Let's talk and focus more about the services. I know that Cosmo Travel is known with its quality services and you are ensuring as well the customer care. So, um, let's talk more about the services that you are offering to people. Thank you very much. That's a good question i like to answer. So, when the company started, we had a clear plan and clear mm -hmm. idea of what we wanted to be. We don't want to be branded as an agency belongs to an airline, that's mm -hmm. the only Arabia. No, we wanted to sell every airline, so we wanted to have uh, all kind of customers, be it an individual to larger corporate houses, be it a rich man to a poor man who has just from point to point traveling, or someone need to charter a plane. So we have a wide range of services, entire travel ecosystem. So what I mean is we, we do air tickets starting with, we do car arrangement, we do land arrangements, we do charters, we do cruise, we do holidays, we do business travel for larger corporates, we do consolidation for the sub-agents, we do trade traders, everything in the travel ecosystem, mm -hmm. that in terms of the services. In terms of uh, the second part of your question is the customer service. Mm -hmm. So, you know, customers today uh, are, are there in different area so you will look at Cosmo Travel you will find them in an industrial labor area you will also find them in a high luxury area so mm -hmm. we fit into the customer we don't ask the customer to come to us we reach out to the customer we are available for any customer query that's made us a trust factor so today we ca our customers believe in Cosmo because there is a trust we have created in this time so we focus on training our employees we give ultimate care to make our customer experience very happy in their journey with us. During that journey, uh, mm. once you started Mr. Jamal uh, Cosmo Travel, till now, of course, you have made a lot of uh, achievements that you would like to mention uh, to the audience today. What some accomplishments, achievements that you are proud today, you and your team, that you have uh, achieved along the way? Uh, quite a lot of achievements, mm -hmm. but in a short I can say yes. the number one achievement I have is we have been profitable from the year one. So mm -hmm. we grown the company with profitability. We have also grown from a smaller company to a regional company, mm -hmm. which is the largest one. I can proudly say in this region, this much of network owned by 
one agency it's only cosmo i mean to say you will not find one travel company owned this much of countries so we have that speciality with us we have diversified with us this is all our achievement achievements are plenty yes. if i wanted to say my people are my team is my achievement because i carry forward with them from day one so mm. we don't change you know just like that because they like us and we like them so we say this belongs to you the business belongs to you you run it the way you want and that's it that's exactly yeah. and in order also to uh, direct this wonderful team you have of course you have a vision in order to direct people and direct your business plan in general so what's your vision how would you see cosmo travel in the upcoming years so we wanted to continue our expansion in terms of our presence in outside this business area what we are doing currently we are in india we are in uh, africa probably full gcc we are we are in egypt but I, africa is the coming up uh, continent with mm. lot of opportunity there we wanted to be there you will see us expanding there we will also be looking at expansion into europe coming in soon and what i want to be i want to be the number one agency in travel so when anybody think about travel i want them to think about cosmo sure yeah the first name And what made made you special, Mr. Jamal? I know that the competition here in the, especially in the UAE, it's a bit, you know, the environment is a bit competitive, especially if we talk about the travel agencies. Yeah. So how have you, uh, you know, maintained your name all, all over these uh, years? So uh, to get a customer loyalty and a customer trust, it's not an easy thing. It comes from the customer experience with you. Mm -hmm. So if you had a good experience with Cosmo. you will continue working with us are we there with you in the difficult time tough time when it, when you need us are we there or we run away no mm -hmm. we made available for you so customer has a trust factor on cosmo brand similar to air arabia the parent company we mm -hmm. are financially strong we are we are reliable we are available approachable we reach out to you to your time to your convenience so that made us very special yes, actually obviously yeah. and let's talk about uh, uae yeah. i know that uae has an environment that encourages uh, people to come all over the world and made uh, make their uh, yeah. projects uh, and businesses here because of some policies uh, so let's talk more about these uh, policies how have you how have you seen these policies good question i am very happy to answer that because i think because we started in uae that attribute the country uae and it is approachable approachable to the business mm -hmm. its openness it is so clear it is friendliness it gives you a lot of opportunity that gives us the opportunity to grow bigger so today i attribute success of cosmo travel is because we belongs to uae mm -hmm. and i wish all the best for uae because this con this country is continue to innovate continue to ac adopt changes long vision so everything is dedicated everything is very clear so it is a best environment and we thank god to be here sure sure definitely mr yeah, jamal uh, let's also talk about the uh, word of success i know the definition of the word success is subjective it's you know it's differ from person to another mm -hmm. and you have a faithful uh, journey with a lot of achievements that you have uh, you know achieved and made uh, so how would you see or how would you define the word success today like you said it is very difficult to define simply mm -hmm. success is when you achieve your aspiration when you get your dreams yeah mm -hmm. but you are not happy as a human being every day you come up with new dreams and new success mm -hmm. but if you are genuine and if you are able to be uh, able to realize your dreams that is what success for me so i would say your dreams and your aspirations and we are driving it in that way actually yes we may find defeat also but we take convert that into an opportunity we learn from our mistakes mm -hmm. and we move it and we change convert it into an opportunity so sure. success is all about achieving your as aspirations sure with the nice words um let's talk uh, also about uh, young generations i know that a lot of uh, young uh, people youthful people are watching us right now and they found from your story something inspired to them uh, so what advice you would uh, like to convey through our tv today to young people uh, young people definitely 
and people must have dreams because if you don't have dreams if you don't want to be somebody out there you look at him you learn from him i want to be out there i wanted to flourish i wanted to grow there you need to have a dream so continue dreaming and move towards your dream the world is plenty of opportunity if you want to be in tourism industry that's an excellent opportunity that's an excellent platform for you to achieve and cherish your dreams so all the best definitely last mr jamal let's uh, say uh, something to the uae i know that uae yeah. uh, has contributed a lot uh, to your personality profession experiences and to the success of your uh, business as well so what appreciation message maybe you would like to convey to uae and its leaders today thank you very much for having us here you are so tolerant and you are a model to the world actually this country and the system it gives lot of opportunity and i am very lucky to be here i thank to the father of the nation and to the rulers and the leaders of this country and the citizens for accepting us allowing us to live in this beautiful country we pray for you to cherish thank you and may allah of course protect this Definitely country God bless you. yes yes mr jamal abdul nasser the ceo of cosmo travel one of the incredible pioneer here in uae in the tourism and travel field it was my pleasure talking to you today thank you so much thank you very and much. i wish you best of luck for pleasure. you and your thank team thank you very much <laughs> for the opportunity i'm very pleased and uh, thank you Once thank you so much thank yeah? you dear audience this is the end of our episode watch us next week goodbye